Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together these under the sea cookies. These go along with the Little Mermaid cake that I made and I posted up a few days ago. So if you want to see how I put these together, stay tuned and I will show you how. Here are the things that I used, white, blue, turquoise, and red fondant, a rolling pin, a couple brushes, a little bit of water, this Wilton mat. I have a two inch round cookie cutter, the pearls are optional, and some cornstarch. So I grabbed like a gumball size amount of uh, fondant, and do use fondant, do not mix this with gum paste or use gum paste because that will harden and you want this to get a nice little crust on the outside but stay um, chewy in the inside. You don't want to have someone break their teeth if you roll f um, gum paste instead of fondant. And so just roll it out, not too thick. And I have here my round cookie cutter, which is a two inch. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm just gonna put it on top of the cookie. And then I'm gonna roll it softly towards the outside of the cookie so I can um, reach the size of it. And then just softly um, go around it to smooth it out and you don't want your fondant to be too thick a lot of people don't like the taste of fondant I like uh, I prefer to use satin ice which is this brand here uh, but I didn't uh, find any in the turquoise um, so I ended up getting sunny side of bakery now to get these here just add a little bit of cornstarch into your mold and then just put a little bit on your fondant as well that way it doesn't stick to the rolling pin and then just roll it in just give it a little bit of pressure and then just push it in to wipe it off like that and then just clean it off with your fingers that way when you take it out you don't have to do that it's already nice and clean and ready to go since these are not so deep and um, have a lot of like uh, really small um, details you don't have to freeze it they'll pop right out very easily um, these here you have to I do recommend sticking them in the freezer for five minutes and they'll come out really nicely I'm gonna try to show you this one here so you can see how easily that comes out when you freeze it with a little bit of the cornstarch just fill this in just slightly you can clean it up afterwards and then just roll out some fondant that'll reach from end to end and just put a little bit over this just so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin and then just press it lightly and then go with your rolling pin and just press it make sure you press it so it'll fill in all that mold put a little bit over here and flip it over and do the same thing pushing quite a bit so I can release some of this extra stuff you don't need. And then just with your fingers, just kind of clean it up a little. That way when it dries, it doesn't dry with a lot of this little extra stuff. So after you cleaned it a bit, I'll go ahead and stick it in the freezer for five minutes and then we'll take it out. Okay, so it's been five minutes and all you do is just flip it over and just peel it out. And look how incredibly easy that is. And then just uh, clean it off. You don't want any of that cornstarch showing. And that's it. Came out really neat. And now for the cookie, since the cookie is small, you're gonna just have to trim this off and you'll get like three um, in one row and two in another for that uh, three inch cookie. If you're gonna put it on the cake, you can go ahead and, and do a lot of these strips and then just wrap it around the cake. 
Okay, now to move on to the coral design that I want to make, you're going to roll out your fondant on top of it. Stuck it in the freezer for five minutes and I have to take it out right away and once it, it starts going back to room temperature, it'll um, give me a harder time to take it out. So as you see here, it just comes out really nicely. If you break some, it doesn't matter because um, you won't be able to put too much on here anyway, so you will be trimming a lot of it off. So I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this piece off. And I'm going to measure around how much I want on here. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to use my sand dollar and I'm just going to find places to put it. I did a blue uh, seashell and let's see how I can put it like that. I'm going to be using these little um, candy pearls and you can set them up, set them anywhere and I'll show you a sample of another one a little bit. And I'm just going to do that type of design. So I'm going to take everything off and you have to kind of work quickly. I just suggest doing this one first and then doing the other ones after because if you do um, these ahead of time, they're going to start getting a little hard. This one's still flexible, but if it gets too hard, um, I don't have one that's really hard, but it'll it'll be harder to stick onto your fondant so you want them to be um, still soft so they can go on a lot easier so i'm just going to put some water on the back of this here just very little and i have to clean up these little edges now i gotta remember how i had it because once it sticks on there it'll stick on there And if you try to move it, you'll get um, some water streaks on on your blue fondant. So be careful not to mess up. I'm gonna clean this here that has a little bit of that powder on there. So now I'm gonna go with my sand dollar. And you're gonna dupe this pretty much to all your designs. So I'm just gonna show you probably just this one here. And then I'll just show you the other designs and then you can go from there. And then, then this one in the back. I'll put too much on there. I'm going to dry it out a little. And then put it on there. And now for the pearl, you will have to make some royal icing for that one. Um, let's see, where do I want to put it? Let's put it up here somewhere. So just put a little bit of icing on there and then just stick it in there and then just let it dry i'm going to run this through the steamer really quick so it can pick up a little bit of shine and you should get something like that now that uh, heavy gloss will go away after a while this is about an hour after i pass it through the steamer so as you see it does have a little bit of shine to it so it won't be matte like it was originally at the beginning but um, it won't be that heavy uh, super wet glossy look like it was when i ran it through the steamer so it does um, give it a nice little look all right guys really quickly before in this video i'm going to show you these four other samples in case you're wondering how else you can decorate the cookies, here are four more. These are so nice. When you put them all together and you have your batch of cookies, they're going to look so pretty. If you are doing the traditional colors of the Little Mermaid, which is pretty much all the colors of the rainbow, these stand out so much. They look just awesome. They look so nice. Um, here I'm just using a few, but even like that, they, um, they look really neat. So anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and put the others together so I can end this video and that will be all. Alright guys, so that's how I make these. Not hard at all. Uh, I do suggest not making these uh, too far in advance before the occasion. Uh, one or two days before would be great. That way your fondant doesn't harden um, or dry out. So um, just keep that in mind. You want to keep these nice and soft. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Stay tuned for more. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good one.